thing uh, everybody has seen for the last uh, maybe 18 months how uncomfortable I have been in Gabon. Uh, do you blow what I do in Pinistan? About five days ago, I received a text from this young leader. I, I didn't have his phone number on my phone. He sent me a text and we just looked him for the proper problem, so I responded. And he said to me, he said, Pops, I'm, I'm leaving her. I want to talk to you. So we started talking. Now, obviously, in Mumasa, we've been talking. And there are Mumasa leaders who will be tuning in now. Many of them on Titi Planting. Because passing from the of government, yeah. suppose you losing government all by cutting funding. Really. Now, some of you will recall, if you follow the parliament uh, debates, I was always against the cutting of funds for opposition. I experienced it when I was in opposition. When I came to government, and opposition MPs started leaving, and when I asked them, they said, well, we no give you money yet, so we have to leave and join government. Now, we are living in the, what, 22nd century now. And Papua New Guinean government cannot act like a tribal people. I don't like the idea of cutting funds to opposition. I was in opposition and I experienced it. And then I, I'm ashamed to be a part of a government that actually doing the same thing as me. same here. And so when Jan Besson called me up, I was going to do a, I didn't want to do a big uh, um, session like this, but I felt that young leaders like Honorable Basil, Nomane, Agahuno, Iduhu, or Mibla and Mulodla line, but this first <coughs> famous, you know, also give him same no Mibla or MPC stuff from the time. Sure. For them to actually be brave enough to step out. They know that their funding will be cut. Oh, sorry. <coughs> I went home two weeks ago and I spoke to my council presidents. Many of them, they served with Grand Chief Michael Shamari. And they said to me, Governor, Suppose Papa staff have lost government long time yet, and one by was not no position. I spoke to my administration. My administration actually told me, don't leave the government. All but have your funding to reply. People are Philippines. And then I sat down and thought of something that Arthur Somare said to me one time. He said, Governor, time you go to Parliament. Talk to your brother, me, James Marabe. You have to go to the dinner, you have to go to the civic. You will claim him just like garden and talk blue blood. That's all. Man, they make him here. Papa, he go finish. Picking any M stuff yet. Now, people see me. People like I get born here. And this is the challenge we face. Our constitution guarantees equal distribution of the wealth of this nation to all Papua New Guineans. The current system doesn't do that. The other day, I sent a message to all Mama MPs. Because I felt responsible. See, no power, no country, and people. And I woke up at three in the morning. I was really troubled. I mean, Sally message now. No, God, one blood member, no mama said, Becky. So, Mario was prime minister for 17 years. You know, not finding one blood, big blood business, no easy big, west big, medeng, or morobe. He never looked after his own people. No, God, no, no, God, over there. All papa, no, big blood, no mama said. They stood for this country and for equal benefits for every single Papua New Guinea. Now me, same or same government, where me, Sanaf Strong, or walking. Your sanctuary camp, go no Laguna, na go no Lolo Wakaya. People are turning back now. People are bagging up him something with Papa Blue, people are Sanaf. It's a shameful thing. People are CP, people are South Korea, no Tupla something. Principles na passing the same. And me feeling same or same, I'm hard no me no defending this like government. It's getting harder every day because you are getting one bad decision after another bad decision. Me is a complaint inside. Many Papua New Guineans abuse me. Oh, Alan, but you start where you passing on. So much give you again and you passing on. But other members of parliament tell me you have to be a team player. Team player, you passing on. No, that's the line, yeah. You know, I told Karen Gakua before he left. Me feel also, me is an absecretic guard, no front, no back, no that's the man, no that's the back, no still. Alan, but yeah, I'm secretly no front stuff, yeah, no man still inside. And it's so unfair to all our people. So unfair. How can a good lot of people remember making business? Leader only. You know, Honorable Hagapuno and others, young Basil, has just stated this case. We need to build a better Papua New Guinea. We need to, we need a full hard stop and a reset. 
I've spoken personally to James Marabe, our Prime Minister. Mr. Respect in this time. And, you know, I've grown close to him. But me feel the same. We've gone away from the things that we were fighting for when we first came into government in uh, 2019. All of those ideals are no longer there. And now I see us lurching from one area to another. I've been asking for foreign exchange solutions since I was still in opposition. Mi no government, na meeting was okay. Mi sab no government, na gongla fixing. I'm no fix. We have record money at the central bank. You've heard me complain about it. But it's not filtering through to the business community. Recently, you've been looking more heavy, come up here. I mean, these things have been building for years. I mean, something has said so come up. So, because you mislead the natural country, or you mislead the heavy, then by you mean on the blue side, no. Heavy blow, people blow. But our people are healthy. You know, when I publish positive stories from my province, other people will be getting so bad, my company, and to come, you told the province, blow in. We don't get a bad stuff. So, you know, these things have an impact. Right? You, know, you can't just continue to turn a blind eye and pretend that everything is okay. And so, like for me, I said to all these young leaders here, I'll admit that I may move, I'm no man to move. I'm moving because I feel that I can't change the government from inside. About six or eight months ago, me, come the government, what's up, me, 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 I'm tired. I'm tired of asking you people for the same things. I want to fix the power issue. Bible crossing me, dog. You man, I must say the solar passing mouse. When I talk about the energy crisis, when I talk about unemployment, no one gives us a, a valid response. I've asked for a strategy. While I was in opposition, me asking government loan in. Time me come no government. Me asking government loan here. Inside no government caucus. Me asking, asking, asking. Go about three weeks ago, me stopped us. Me tired. I think how many Indians were all tired. Everyone is tired. Yes. Yeah. Time something happened on no Black Wednesday, yeah. I went the next day with Governor Papa. We sat with the Prime Minister and I said to him, PM, my humble request, review him this budget. Review him now. When the money starts here, you just give him a step back on this business instead. These businesses serve Papua New Guineans. And government is fully liable. And as for the people that are slaving about so was over the Tesla business is going to court, court by the Holy right now, court by Holy Lord. So rather than wait, let's review the budget, give it. Second something with the Prime Minister, March last year, and you know, supporters of the government will say, I don't bet you spent a year now, what have you been doing? People will tell you that the biggest complainer on government WhatsApp for the last four years ago, no one listens. No one cares even to listen. When myself and Governor Parkok, we went ahead and held a meeting, People are saying nothing more than governor can't be black and boom. From March last year, 28 recommendations we gave to government. Not one single action on any of those recommendations. So what am I supposed to do? You know, Honorable John Russo, I'm a good friend from me. I've known him a long time. When I wanted to leave government, all Sally men, I've always parked up, look, I'm talking about the middle, stop it. They said, change it from inside. And I stayed for eight more months trying to change it from inside. You know, it's so frustrating. Me yet, me like him also. Me blah ogre no can come na cross fight na beggar no wagon. He got 22 blah provinces. Bougainville is in Bougainville. Bougainville has a block grant right now, ladies and gentlemen. Me ask him also, ogre another province and him block. Ogre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That budget must go to the people. Right now, it is spent by government in Wagan. 24 billion of this budget here for spending the most people. Over the province spends in 3 billion that's all. People are Now you can believe me, you can support support me, you can support me, but please, country I'm blowing me over there. You know, blow me one, you can see me, 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 you can see Change it so that every single Papua New Guinean has an opportunity. You know, blow you play hella the songs at Nylands over the contract you play simple you play it. Try to try to budget blow you play it. Oh, get a money blow police force to blow you play it. I mean, blow get a normal also money. 
constitution we pasi mimi ogoda and to clear us mimi ogoda must be equal na pesa we are not doing it so me is toto on behalf of all provinces i think civic people all singa singa no me lose in government for more than a year on people from now we saw some more hamas but more than that you see there are lots of things i could not talk about in government for example last 5 years economic growth has been negative it's been negative you just go check the website the president have you give even this year i mean there was 2.4% gdp growth 5% inflation so you put in plus this in calculator be a plus 2.4 na minus 5 what do you get that's your growth for this year it's negative it was negative last year it was negative the year before it's been constantly negative Now the man by last him the vote of no confidence and this like I and I am I'm not really moving for the vote of no confidence. I'm moving because I'm tired of everything you me of like the thing. Now me find out also last Thursday just like all of you about you know all of these contracts are are you skin grass for me sana. Me to buy you of my people now working stuff. So you okay don't not remember you like having most the second concept with me me say yeah. As someone from ECB, I am deeply ashamed. You know, when I saw the issues with um, uh, revealed by um, Mr. Yafai the other day, me no got phone number from Yafai. I am working for ECB provinces now. Masin from me, I don't deal with the lower staff. I only deal with the administrator. I had to look for Yafai's phone number to call him up. Me are more same. All I came from here, no street, no mosque. So me plato give him hurry. You fly go back, no we wait. This is we wait now. You know, time me looking over the slave revelations. Let me ask him, I'm straight. I'm to be black. That one I mean, I'm getting you. I'm saying I'm putting straight. Skin grass blue, kira. You know, now say, me no man blow lotu, but something I'm going to say. So me to do. You know, we're about to finish that. And I hope, you know, Prime Minister, I'm saying, I'm not too mad. Strong plus seven day. You plus seven day. You plus passing take care. No more something for. Twenty four hours, not to blame. So you know, there should be some conviction there. You know, we have talk out now. So maybe some people say, "No, some are defending, defending." I wasn't talking about that. Look, whatever changes that come, they're going to be better. We we need solutions. We we can't just keep blaming Peter O'Neill. Me me first man, Mister Cross, when Peter O'Neill and Mister Mills. But me feeling was a bit of a problem in money and more because he's already outside. Mm. I mean, you no know, controlling this last year, no country. I mean, no sense in the year, no country. No guy. I'm a man, no know him stuff. So, you know, my great disappointment is that my government, which I used to be a part of, we did not take responsibility. You mean blaming only that one? Yes, okay, only them as well. And you mean looks at everything. Move beyond that. Fix the problems. Don't just keep blaming only. One year you may get blaming him, but blaming for five years and we believe same now. I can't keep justifying myself by blaming other people. It doesn't work. So these are the, these are the compelling reasons for me. I mean, not like him on Monday on some word of no confidence and Alan Bell that power angry. I'm not passing from him now. But when things are going wrong, I mean, over a good man, maybe passing out. I see that Nulu told me only hard not to know that then Larry Nulu man. I I don't think we can do that. So my appeal is, especially to all the good leaders around the country. I mean, you go out and ask your own community, how is your community living? What really wants them on them? And then you make up your own mind. You search your conscience. You know, the man will be asking God, no, talk to you where you have to go, left or right. I mean, yet they may believe Marlon is living tonight. So I want to come out there. I want to take on the government and question them on some of these things that they think they are doing. Because I think someone needs to do that, and to do that, what's that? Bamito, but strong. You mean he's in a borough branch, na? One to one him, na? Country or global branch, that? You mean to house man, na? You mean to really extra take care, na? One is standing, na? You mean one is one him, na? You mean to okay? You mean strong him, na? You can strong him, na? Sila nung take care good, na? Country program, no side business, kana yapa. Who's gonna take care of that? So for me, these are the compelling things. In addition to what all Nagla member talk things. And I really can't stay silent anymore. 
Misawe also in my province, uh, you know, could face cuts in its budget. Uh, but I think civics are resilient people. I know good people have been long time, and people can get good time here. So what if we have to chew on bones some more, you know? Uh, Mibla, especially Mibla line where probably Mibla go past no, some independence. Strong in country, we have a responsibility. I always tell civic people, we have a responsibility. Why? Because there was a giant from Murik Lakes who decided to put his hand up. And because of that, every single civic has a responsibility. <coughs> we have a responsibility to the country, not just to ourselves. And it is that that compels me to make the announcement that I do this for you know, I have nothing personal against Prime Minister Marape or in fact any of his ministers, but I think Papua New Guinea demands higher performance, higher results. We can't say, oh, look, we are doing our best. If our best is not good enough, then we're going to do better because that's what the country needs. I'm just tired. And I think a lot of Papua New Guineans are tired too. And that's why I'm really proud of these young leaders. And so time me, Honorable Bezel and Top, perhaps me, let will give an announcement now. You come uh, sit outside for me. I, I said to you, I would be very honored to sit next to you as you make your announcement. So let's start.